Aloha everyone, welcome back to Viva Hawaii. We've had the little time that we even have programs, but it's good to be back, it's good to have you back. And uh, today it's a beautiful program and you'll understand why right now. Uh, my guest today is Miss Hawaii 2017 and also we have the assistant director for the organization of Miss Hawaii. We're going to show you a little video and then we'll start talking to them. Hola, muy buenas tardes y bienvenidos a Viva Hawaii y después de un pequeño descanso. Nuestro programa de hoy va a ser en inglés, pero seguro que lo vais a entender perfectamente y si no lo entendéis vais a estar eh, pegados al televisor. Mi invitada de hoy es Miss Hawaii 2017 y Julie Kuo y también eh, Nicole Patterson, que es la directora adjunta del, de la organización que se encarga de Miss Hawaii. Vamos a ver un vídeo y volvemos enseguida para hablar con ellas. Congratulations, Julie. Thank you very much, ladies, for joining us today on Viva Hawaii. Thank you for having us. What do you feel when you see this, uh, when you see this now? Actually, we had a small gathering party at Hokua, and the whole time I was watching the video, even though I know the result, I was really nervous because I'm like, oh my god. How you know the result, you know? <laughs> yeah, like even though I know right, it, I'm yeah. like, oh. It's gonna end well. This movie's gonna end well. <laughs> but is it, um, is it those one of those moments that you're when you're uh, waiting for them to decide if you're Miss Hawaii or not? Does this uh, moment of Kevin Harvey? Uh, come back to you and thinking he gave it to Miss Colombia and then it was Miss Philippines <laughs> or is that, oh, did I, you think about that at all? Or? No, I was just really nervous. I was actually praying the whole time. You can see my eyes were closed, you know, when they were making that really dramatic pause. But no, I, yeah, I wish I didn't have, yeah. So Nicole, thank you very much also for joining yes, us. And uh, uh, tell us how many contestants were there? It, it seems like there were a good number. Yeah, so this year we actually had a record number. We had 26 contestants, so super competitive field. Um, of course, Julie came out on top, but yeah, every year we just keep growing. So, so do you accept all the accept all the contestants, or do they need to be? We know you were Miss Honolulu, but there were mm -hmm. Miss um, Diamond Head, and there were so many. Do you do they need to? No, um, contestants. Um, anyone can join. Um, there are certain national qualifications. You know, we have an age range. Um, you know, things like that. They have to be, you know, living in Hawaii and and different requirements like that, but as long as you meet the requirements, mm -hmm. anyone can join. Mm, you were not born in the U.S. No, I'm actually from Taiwan. Okay. I moved here when I was 10 years old. So, so is, uh, is Mandarin your first language? Yes, or okay. Mandarin and Taiwanese, which is like a dialect, okay. and then English is my Do you get language. to speak it uh, while you're in Hawaii? Or? I speak Chinese at home, so that's why I can still speak it. But other than that, not really. Okay, so Nicole, and this is, uh, I, I want to link this because this Miss Hawaii is different to the Miss Hawaii, this is Miss Hawaii USA that USA. goes to Miss Hawaii Universe. Miss USA. USA. Miss, uh, that goes to Miss Universe, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And then there is another organization that is Miss Hawaii America. Right, and that goes to Miss America. Good. So this Miss Hawaii, so everybody who is more familiar with these uh, pageants, uh, this is the Trump Miss Hawaii, or the the old... Yeah, yeah. now it, um, IMG actually runs the Miss USA, Miss Universe um, pageants now, um, so we're really excited about that. But yeah, the, the winner from our pageant goes to Miss USA, so last year it was in June in Las Vegas. Uh, of course, Chelsea plays first runner-up, mm -hmm. and we know Julie's going to do a fantastic job for us there, and I think everyone's She's really excited. Doing it, I no? have it, yeah. a huge 
she used to fail. <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, but you're already, so it's been two weeks. How, how do you feel in these two weeks of having this job? Mm -hmm. It's funny because I prepared three months for this pageant and every day That's it was... That's not much, no? Yeah, but every day I did the same thing, you know, it was very routinely. I work out, I mm -hmm. eat this, I eat that. And the pageant, it seemed like only a few seconds. And now, yeah. that, like, now that it's done, I'm like, oh, what do I do? You it's know? almost like this show <laughs> <laughs> that I prepare for it for mm -hmm. two weeks. And then suddenly it's like, it's, yep, it's gone. Exactly, and you're like, exactly. oh, I want, to, I want to stay a little longer yeah. talking to the person. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so as an immigrant in Hawaii, mm -hmm. what do you feel? Do you feel welcome? Or? Oh, definitely. That's why I was able to learn English really quickly, because everyone wanted to help. And I was very lucky. Do you miss Taiwan? Of course. When I first moved here, I missed the food the most. Is it that one mm -hmm. you're, and you've been, you've been on a diet probably, no? Oh or? my god, that was the hardest part, or well, one of the hardest part of the pageant. But luckily, my trainer, who taught me very well, and I was never hungry whilst while I was losing weight. Do you, what, what's the food that you, you miss the most? Um, any carbs. Because for the last month or so, <laughs> I could not eat anything that's carbohydrates. So. Okay, so yeah. now are you a little more... Relaxed, oh yeah, I eat or? whatever I want. I eat whatever I see in front of me. Okay, <laughs> yeah. good, good. Is that a requirement that they need to be on a diet or that they need to mm. wait a certain... No, uh, absolutely not. Um, you know, we have contestants all different shapes, sizes, mm -hmm. heights. I mean... It's really up to the contestant mm -hmm. what they want to do to prepare for the show. Mm -hmm. um, and you never know what the judges are looking for on any given day. Mm -hmm. so do you, do, you, uh, do you train them together or do, is there any sort of train uh, that I mean, all the girls need to do? Or? No, I mean, we do different workshops mm -hmm. um, during the pageant season. We'll do a lot of different photo shoots. We do fashion shows. Um, you know, we try to get them comfortable with being in front of people, being on the stage. Uh, but in terms of their own preparation, a lot of the girls have coaches, they mm -hmm. go to their own trainers, um, the people that they work with. So like for us, we try not to do hands-on coaching, but mm -hmm. just to give everyone the opportunity, like I said, just to mm -hmm. be on stage mm -hmm. and have pictures Were taken. you a contestant before, Nicole? We can see you're very <laughs> tall and well, you cannot see it right now because we are all seated, but... <laughs> no, no, I've never been a contestant. So my first time experiencing pageants was actually with the Miss Hawaii USA organization. Is, is so. this something, uh, what, what calls you from this job? Why, why are you performing this job? Uh, well, it started off because my regular boss um, <laughs> was involved with the organization. He's on the board of directors. Mm -hmm. um, and I met the executive director that way. Um, we became really good friends, and, you know, she asked me to help her. And, you know, for me, the best part is seeing the transformation for the girls mm -hmm. over the course of the season. We have girls coming with no experience. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden on stage, they just pop and they shine. And, and I love seeing that transformation. So yeah, that beautiful. keeps me keeps So me going. tell us, that, Julie, t tell us about uh, your transformation. Were you, were you a model before or how no, is this? No, I have never modeled before. Never before this pageant? Mm -hmm. So okay. this is, I'm stepping into a is this whole the first world. time? This is the first time you, you ran, ran, ran the for the, okay. Uh -huh. Okay, so what were you doing before? I was going to school and I was also working part-time as a server and that's how actually I got into the pageant because mm -hmm. Nicole and Dwayne were the ones who... Dwayne Comine who we actually had in the yeah. show before uh -huh. and um, I can tell he has a good eye for beautiful <laughs> people uh, because we know his wife. Mm -hmm. his wife. His wife is Leona Comine and she was Mrs. Hawaii yep. before, right? Mm -hmm. So she's a be another beautiful woman. He's, he's good at that, you can <laughs> ask him. Um, so uh, tell, us a, tell us a little more about how you became, uh, how you decided to become a, a pageant. So, hi, I'm Stacy Hayashi, and you can catch me on Mondays at 11 on Think Tech Hawaii. Stacy to the rescue. See you then. Aloha, I'm Kirsten Baumgart-Turner, host of Sustainable Hawaii. We live stream every Tuesday from noon to 12.30. You get a chance to hear what people are doing about sustainability in Hawaii and what the issues are impacting all of us in all the islands. Join us, please. This is Steve Katz. I'm a marriage and family therapist, and I do shrink wrap, which is now going to every other week, all during the summer and maybe forever after. Take care of your mental health this summer. Have a good time. Do what's fun and take good care of yourself. Bye-bye.
Hi, I'm Donna Blanchard. I host the show Center Stage on Think Tech Wednesdays at 2 p.m. and this is Crystal Quark. That's Quark. right. I'm Crystal and I host Quark Talk on Tuesday mornings. <laughs> I like watching Donna's show. You do? <laughs> I like watching your show. I like watching your show because you talk about, you're not afraid to really dive into issues that are important and, and sometimes they're a little shocking and you always bring us information that is sometimes the underbelly that we Ooh, need to know and we need to you. see. It's important. Well said. Well, I like yours because you can find any topic and any type of character, but you will find that source which brought them to the product of that creative process. And I thought that's like the most important thing is the process. Awesome. Right? I think, yeah, I do. I think it's all about the process. And I think we'll find world peace when we know each other's stories. So thank you very much for bringing that to us. Join thank us you. on Think Tech. <laughs> think Tech Hawaii, anytime. <laughs> Well, we're back, and sorry because we had a um, couple of uh, technical difficulties, but we are back with Julie and Nicole. Julie, I was asking you, um, so this was your first time running for any mm -hmm. sort of pageant? Or, yeah. And uh, so is this something that you're now completely involved and you're going to forget what you were doing or you want to go back to what you, this was just like a, an experience and then you want to go back? Uh, so now that I'm Miss Hawaii USA, I'm going to be competing in Miss USA, which is probably going to be in the summer or so. Mm -hmm. So probably starting January, I'm going to have to focus and start training, and it's going to be all this training all over again. Okay. So in the, the nationals are like one person per state. Is that how mm -hmm. it usually works? And uh, and. Your previous uh, Chelsea, the, the Miss Hawaii 2016, came really close to winning oh, the. Yeah. She was the runner up, no? Mm -hmm. or yeah, was there right. any. Uh, is, is Hawaii well known for these beautiful women arrived to a good position in nationals? Or it really? I think so. Um, I think they definitely have high standards for Hawaii. There was one, and I did a little bit of search, there was one who was, I think in the 1990s, I think I have it uh, around 97. here. 97. 97, exactly, who was Miss Hawaii, then yep. came to be USA. Miss USA, and then came to be Miss Universe. Yep. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Free. So, Julie, we are rooting for you. I yes. know. <laughs> <laughs> so, is your family, your friends supporting this? Or? Mm -hmm. So my entire family was actually back in Taiwan and they flew uh, about three days before the pageant just to watch me and they're all really excited to be, you know, supporting Of course, yeah. yeah. What about your friends? You had a lot of friends in the audience too. Right? Mm -hmm. They were, I could hear them on stage and that's how loud they were, but yeah, they yeah. keep me in my place. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel like uh, probably men are more intimidated now than you no. have Miss Hawaii, no. uh, Miss Hawaii title? Or? Unless I wear the crown and the sash maybe. <laughs> okay, <laughs> what about women? You feel like women are more intimidated no, with you? Also, no way. Also, basically nothing has changed in that. Yeah. That's a good thing. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So, what is your workout routine? Tell us for average individuals. <laughs> I am really bad at being active, so this pageant was especially hard for me. But my trainer, I only did weight training about twice a week, but I would run an hour every day. Okay. That's yeah. a serious training. Mm -hmm. uh, and is that something that you like to do? or? I have come to terms with it. <laughs> That's okay. a good way to put it. Yeah, <laughs> like when I'm running, I would put on um, a movie to watch. And okay, that makes so it you easier. run in the treadmill, you don't run outside. Yeah. But Hawaii is good to be active, oh, yeah, to phys definitely. be physically ac active. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. And um, w where are you, where are you, when you were in Taiwan, did you have to deal with uh, change, like seasons and change of weather and oh, having to wear mm. a coat? Taiwan is really hot, like, for the most part. More tropical. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's really humid. Like, if you take a shower, you go outside, you're all wet again. <laughs> yeah. It's that bad. Yeah. But in the winter, I mean, the it doesn't humidity, snow, yeah. but it's cold, and I like it. So the last things that I want, I have a couple of questions for you. What is your favorite hobby? Uh, I like to cook. You like to cook? Mm -hmm. Taiwanese or? No, Taiwanese food is hard, like, simple. Cause, you so know, what, is your, what is your specialty? Uh, so I know how to make this Chinese dish. It's called tomato noodle soup, basically, and it's okay. so easy. And I, because I've been living on my own for a while, so I you had, had to, to learn, learn how yeah. to take care of myself. Yeah, and it's easier when you live 
on your own to just do the things that you like, mm -hmm. or, you know? Yeah. Um, what is your favorite drink? Uh, the Taiwanese bubble milk tea. I don't know if you've ever tried it. No, you but know, like we're, gonna, the we're, the we're already organizing a little yeah, party here with some Spanish food. Yeah, so that would <laughs> that would yeah. Nicole, where are your food? Where, is, where are you from? Originally from New Jersey. Okay, so what so is in New Jersey? Where, where are you bringing? I can bring you pasta. <laughs> I'm always up. I'm always up for pasta. <laughs> the most fun Italian places ever in the yeah. yeah. Okay. So, what what is the mo who's the most important person in your life? That'd be my mom, definitely. Like, okay. She has so much influence over me. Sometimes I think that she brainwashes me. No. What What do you look for when you're trying to find a person? What qualities do you look for in the person? Uh, especially for pageant, I think it's about being genuine because you can train you know for a really long time and you become really rehearsed but then some things mm -hmm. you can then you don't connect with people yeah, yeah yeah and what is the best moment of your life so far uh, winning this pageant yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, that moment when you were mm. when they gave you the crown yeah okay uh -huh. what do you think nicole are the requirements for for really a good contestant and a good title holder well, I mean, I think the, the requirements would be definitely someone who is a people person. I mean, mm -hmm. one of their primary jobs is to go out, talk to people, be a representative for Hawaii. Mm -hmm. So definitely need to have a great personality. Mm -hmm. Of course, they got to be beautiful uh, to compete on the national stage. Yeah, that doesn't hurt. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't hurt. Um, but overall, I think it's just someone who connects with people. Mm -hmm. Someone that when you meet them, you feel warmth, you feel a genuine quality. Mm -hmm. um, so to me, I think more important you know, definitely. Not anything. Yeah. That's the best mm -hmm. thing that mm -hmm. you can have. So, how do you see yourself in 15 years, Yuli? I want to be a small restaurant owner or a small cafe where I bring okay. food from Taiwan and mix it with like a little Hawaii. Okay. Um, being able to share the food that I love with the people. And, and that I cafe would be in Hawaii? In yeah, Oahu? that would be awesome. What is your favorite island? Uh, Oh, wow. Just because I lived here. <laughs> <laughs> there were many people from different islands. Do, mm -hmm. is, is, mm -hmm. it, is it, can anyone from the island in Hawaii be a contestant or? Oh yeah, absolutely. Our contest is open to everyone in the state. Um, we do have preliminaries on the outer island. So Kauai, Maui, the big island. Um, and just because then we have local title holders there and they can mm -hmm. make appearances all year. But you can also be an at-large contestant from a neighbor island, meaning you don't have to compete in a preliminary. You can come straight to the net, to the state pageant. Um, we're also thinking about maybe doing a Wahoo preliminaries, um, to have maybe people do local, but that's still in the works. <laughs> but um, definitely we, anyone, like I said, as long as they meet the age requirement mm -hmm. and the residency, they can compete. Did you become so. friends with any of the contestants? Definitely. Um, I've heard many stories, you know, like, oh, no dramas and stuff. But this year, we're all really good. Yeah. Yeah. Like and really mm -hmm. healthy environment. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, we were cheering each other on during the pageant, which was... What was the worst moment of the pageant? Or, or what you were not m less comfortable with? Um, to be honest, when I was, you know, doing the runway and coming back down, I didn't realize how tense I was. So when I walked off the stage, my body was shaking. Really? Yeah, but yeah. then I had to come back on and, you know. You can just have to put yeah. yourself mm -hmm. together. And yeah, my stomach was cramping. I was, <laughs> oh. <laughs> what is, what, what was your, what did you do right after the, the pageant? I went home and slept. <laughs> okay, you just needed yeah, some I rest. Thought, I thought I would pick out, I would do all these things, but you just tired, need to yeah. fall asleep. Mm -hmm. And was there any anecdote in the in the ceremony or something worth telling? Hmm. Anyone falling? Anyone? Oh, something hmm. <laughs> something juicy. <laughs> Not During rehearsals, you know, there was it was close to someone almost falling on the stage. But yeah, because walking with happened. those high heels. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, no matter, I, I always wear platforms and mm -hmm. I keep like spraining my ankles. So yeah. Like, yes, yes. I'm falling. usually a slipper girl. So. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> so, yeah. Again, we having can, to we practice. cannot walk yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, y what do you see in your, in your future, your not long term, but your short term future? You, what do you see for this year that you're going to be Miss Hawaii? Uh, just working really hard for Miss USA because I'm representing not just myself but an entire 
stayed. I stayed. Yeah. yeah. So what kind of, of of events do you have to go to or? A lot of lunches to eat, definitely. Okay. <laughs> but charity, marathon, parades, it's really exciting. Some like things I've never done before. Okay. And uh, what about you, Nicole? Do you, do you still have a job for this whole year? Or it's just like only for the ceremony? No. Um, I'm still assistant director for the mm -hmm. whole year. Um, so now with a lot of it, like Julie says, she's preparing her for Miss USA, mm -hmm. um, making sure, you know, scheduling for her for events, making sure she gets to them, mm -hmm. um, and also preparing it for next year. You know, we already start looking at dates and recruitment. Um, so if anyone's interested, go to MissYUSA.com <laughs> and, uh, you know, for more information there. And start training, yeah. Yeah. And, yes. and so uh, what does Chelsea do now? What does the, after a year, what do they go to do? What is... Um, well, it's up to them. Um, some of our prior contestants, um, Emma Wo is in New York doing graduate studies. Um, Moani Hara just moved to LA uh, to pursue entertainment. Um, so for Chelsea, it's, the door is wide open for her. I mean, she has so many opportunities. She did so well at Miss USA. Um, she's really, I know she wants to do modeling and entertainment. And I mean, she could do anything. That girl's amazing. Yeah. So. Yeah. So, uh, are you? Is he giving you advice too, or are you searching for mm -hmm. advice from those who mm -hmm. were misses before? Definitely. Every time I see Chelsea, I'm still fangirling. I don't know. <laughs> she probably doesn't know it. Are you looking forward to traveling, or is this mm -hmm. going to be mostly uh, Hawaii time? I am actually going back to Taiwan in December. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna bring your Miss Hawaii title? My crown. <laughs> yes, everything. Is is there any international events that you also have to go to, or? Uh, not so much. No. no. But so before before um me, before Hawaii joined the pageant, I I I saw that it was the last state. Hawaii was the last state to go to Miss USA. Mm -hmm. It used to be Hawaii would go straight to Miss Universe. And uh, so is there anything that we need to fight for in Hawaii that still to things like um, just consider the state more of another state in the US or, or are we pretty happy with how uh, Miss USA is treating Hawaii? Um, I mean, I think definitely, you know, Hawaii is a state. We're part mm -hmm. of the USA. Um, and for one of our contestants to go there to win, I mean, they're not representing just an island or the islands, but they're representing the entire country, which I think is important. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, hey, we can send her directly to Miss Universe. I don't think send any of us would complain. <laughs> but, but I think in terms of going to Miss USA, I mean... Where, I, do you know where it's going to be? Is or No, they don't like to tell us. It's very um, mysterious. Was it in mysterious. Las Vegas last year? Or did I, um, am I making this up? Yeah, no, it they had it in Las Vegas. Vegas. Right? Um, it was one of the first events at the T-Mobile Center that just opened there. Um, you know, I kind of hope it would be there again next year, but it honestly could be anywhere in the U.S. Mm -hmm. And you go with her too. You you bring your entourage, right? You, how many people go with her to? Um, whoever wants to go. I know yeah. last year for Chelsea, we had a huge. I mean, we were the loudest. Hawaii had the most <laughs> number of people. Really, and we came from the <laughs> furthest, but uh -huh. you know, her family is huge, and you know, all the committee went, the board went, and we had a great time. And I really hope. We're going to do the same for Julie mm -hmm. and, you know, give her the support that she deserves. So exciting. What, what would um, you like it to be? Hmm? What would you like it to be? Vegas. That Vegas like too? Fun. <laughs> okay. Have you been there before? Or? Um, when I was really, really young, before so I got to you do don't anything. Remember, you hardly remember. Yeah. What's the difference between the, the state um, uh, pageant and the, uh, and the national one? What is the difference? Is it more level in the girls, or more the girls are more beautiful, or everything um, is better prepared? Or is there anything you can tell us? Yeah, I mean, from being there this year, I mean, all the girls obviously won their states. Mm -hmm. So you have the best of the best. They're yeah. all competing. Um, you work with amazing photographers, mm -hmm. and you do all these like events leading up to the pageant. So it's not just a weekend. I mean, they go, they have a week, two weeks, you know, and they. But it's just, it's all different. I mean, it's everything's like the state, but on a bigger scale. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's huge. Do you, do you also prepare to be um, eloquent and to answer questions? Or? Oh, that was a huge part of her preparing for a pageant. Mm -hmm. Every day, you know, I wanted someone to talk to me just to get talking and comfortable. So what did they ask you? I didn't see this part, but so what did they ask you? Uh, 
in the interview, it was mostly based off of your bio. So, you know, whatever you put on there, they might ask you, you know, questions here and there. But I remember one judge asking me, oh, Hillary Clinton, what do you think? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> so what did you say? I, I said along the lines of, you know, she's very inspiring to be the first woman to mm -hmm. be nominated as a presidential candidate. And um, her election epitomizes the breaking of glass ceilings. That was beautiful. Yeah. 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 And uh, fortunately, or uh, you never know, but mm -hmm. we didn't get the first woman president just yet. Uh -huh. uh, maybe eventually. Do you want to say something to the camera and then uh, say goodbye to, to the program and just practice your your camera and you can go ahead. Um, just look to camera one right there. Hi everyone, <laughs> I am Julie Kuo, Miss Hawaii USA 2017 and the pageant was aired yesterday? Saturday. Saturday, <laughs> Saturday. I'm sorry, Saturday. But if you didn't have the chance to watch it, pretty sure you can find it. Yeah, it'll be on YouTube very soon. Mm -hmm. Okay. Too. Well, thank you very much, everyone. I'm sure you enjoyed the program today, and uh, we'll also you find our programs in YouTube, and you can always connect to Twitter and Facebook. And we'll see you here next time on Viva Hawaii. Muchas gracias por vernos y hasta pronto.